Hey high school, so I just wanted to do a little quick YouTube video, um, an instructional video for you um, to help you with our block letters and tangle project this week. Um, some of you um, might want to know how to do a block letter. Um, so I'm gonna just give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do that with your letter. Um, and then if you have any more questions, make sure you guys either message me in Google Classroom or email me and that way I can get back to you, okay? So I am gonna show you guys how to do a block letter with the letter K. Say your first name was Kathy, and it started with a K. Remember, we're using our first initial of our first name. We are gonna start by just drawing out the letter. So I'm just drawing a K, okay? Nothing fancy about that, that is not a block letter. That just gives us the bones of our drawing, the inside of our drawing, and we're gonna work around it. Now make sure you keep this letter, whatever yours is, if it's an E or a P, make sure you guys keep it not too dark because we wanna um, be able to erase these lines once we get the block letter. So now what we're gonna do is this. On the top, basically to make this block letter, guys, we wanna keep the same distance from the these lines and we're outlining the letter that we drew, okay? So this is the top and this will be the bottom of our K, all right? Now we're gonna outline and we're gonna come straight down. Now the distance from here to here, you wanna keep as we bring, as we trace this line. So it's not gonna be exact, we're just, and if you need to erase, go ahead and just go up and erase any mark that needs to be fixed. If you need to make it a little longer, you can do that as well. You're gonna kinda tweak it as we go. So then we're gonna come here and we're gonna go up, okay? Now we're gonna bring this line right along down here. Now a, another thing you can do is if you feel like you can't draw a straight line, that's perfectly okay. Go ahead and grab a straight edge. I'm gonna um, make that line a little bit short, smaller. Take a straight edge and go ahead and use that straight edge. Now. Here, I'm gonna only bring this part of the K right about here. Because the thickness down here, you want it to be about the same as there. So let's go ahead and just align this up. Come straight down, and then we'll go just like that. And then if, again, if it overlaps, you can erase. And then we're gonna bring the back of the K down. And we're gonna just bring it straight down here. And then you'll just connect right there, okay? So now we're starting to see the block letter. What I want you guys to do is take an eraser on your pencil, or if you have one, um, a bigger pink eraser, go ahead and come in and erase the bones or the original letter that we drew to give us what we're outlining. And what you should have left on your page is a block letter. Okay, now my next directions, I'm just gonna add this in there. My next directions on your assignment were to divide your letter, your block letter up with lines on the inside. And I believe I said um, a minimum of five lines. So just let me show you how that looks, guys. We're gonna go from the spine to here. Now, you guys can place these absolutely anyway. Okay, it doesn't have to be just like mine. They can crisscross. I'm gonna bring this here. So there's two lines there. I'm gonna bring one from here to this corner here. Again, your lines would not have to be exactly like mine, so that's one, two, three lines. Let's do one down in this area. That's four lines, and then let's do one up in this area. Five, okay? Now, I talked about the individual shapes that we're going to be getting once we add those five lines in your block letter. Um, these are where you're going to be putting your Zentangle Doodle patterns. And I attach the two sheets to give you ideas that you can use. You can use those designs and those patterns or get creative and use your own. Like I said, it could be as simple as polka dots in one. The trick is we want each individual one to be a different Zentangle Doodle pattern. All right, so hopefully that helped you guys today and explained how to do a block letter 
And again, guys, give me an email or a text and let me know if this makes sense or if you need more help and I will walk you through it the best that I can. I hope you guys have an amazing Monday and I can't wait to get on the Zoom call with you guys on Friday. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.